What's good, beautiful people? Welcome to Guerrilla Tactics once again, the only place where you can commit guerrilla warfare to make change. Now listen, beautiful people, once again, I'm told you, like I told y'all before we in the series, um, the video I did before, the one I'm doing right now, um, is act, was actually karma. Again, to recap, karma is the process of an action you chose, which then created a result of something that goes back towards you. And so a lot of times when people talk about karma, they talk about it in the sense of when someone does someone else wrong, wrong gets done back to them, and they get what they reap, or what they sold, I mean. You know, they reap what they ended up sowing. So, the, but the thing is, it's more to karma than people really would realize. And I want to explain that to you guys. But before I do, I got to hit y'all with a little something different today. So I'm going to just spit a small bar just so that y'all can get a little taste on a little bit something different from me. Um, I used to do music a lot. And I had my own label at one point. I used to rap. I, used to, I do poetry. I do it all. So I just want to give y'all a little taste. So, just something small, nothing too serious, but I hope you guys it's like it. It's been a minute since I checked in. Collecting mites, collecting checks, but kept the step in. Stepping with X, but had to ask a couple best friends who let men be the reason I left them. So, let me tell you more. I'm looking in your heart just to see the pain in store. And now I gotta tell you what's going on. Your mind is moving crazy, and I gotta get you back to the song. So, tell me what is right and what is wrong in your life. Can't stop, but I told you, here's the mic. Take the bike. Can't live for the world, but I'm ready to hit the hike. I gotta be the one to see the time i'm looking up to the sky ready to pray to god and tell you what's going on and looping for full my mind tell me what you want to see and more i'm looking back and ready to hit the door and let's explore just a little something 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 small you know what i mean that's it <laughs> all right beautiful people so like i said we're going in the karma but the name of the video this time is called demonic karma demonic karma is so much different from karma itself and it's <laughs> It's crazy, but just to let you guys know, it's very self-explanatory, so this segment is going to be a little bit more um, shorter than normal, but don't even worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. life just moves on. All right, yeah. Three, two. Demonic karma is pretty much actions you take again that causes negative outputs in your life. Now, these negative outputs, nine times out of 10, is based off of the decisions that you made. Again, karma is based off your own decision. We, we call it karma because it's easier to just, just say that. But I feel like it's downplaying because we are the product of our own situations. Nothing else causes our situations but us. Even if there's another party or another another um, variable that's in the situation, does not change the fact that our decision making led to whatever it led to. Okay, we all have responsibility to make the right choices in order to move in life. So demonic karma is the same process of that, but the negative output, the, the out, negative output that you put out comes back on the input from the input. Okay, so demonic karma of it. Well, the demonic karma ends up doing is causing a negative um, situation in your own life. Now, what we will call misfortunes and, you know, all that different type of stuff. Oh, that's good. That's peach tea blazing. Well, anyways, a good example. If y'all hear me say this all the, all the time, Becky down the road or John from across the street. Um, so say John... Uh, woke up, he was in a sour mood. He then was being sour to everyone that was around him. So he goes to work, he's at work, he's doing his thing, and then John ends up giving a negative um, a reaction to somebody. And then that person then in return gave a negative reaction back. John escalates the situation by saying more of that negative stuff back at the individual the individual is now putting that negative energy back at you so what you put out is what you get back okay it keeps on going keeps on going and boom there's a clash now i'm going to tell you something serious um this is recent i'm not putting any names but a situation happened at my job with two individuals um guy came in wanted to get some gas and uh the gas, um, they I guess they tried to trick my coworker or some junk like that. Coworker caught wind of it. That person was in a negative um, mood. So they were placing that negative mood out at my coworker. Then they left. Apparently, 
when they left, because of that negative energy that that person had, that person decided to put that energy on someone else, just a random person, and ends up hitting them. That random person took the hit. It, it hurt, whatever, but I guess he was going to walk off with it. The person that hit him dropped their keys. So the guy that got hit decided to pick it up and put it in his pocket. Now, here it goes. The first person put out a negative output towards that, that individual by hitting him. Okay? And they was already in a bad mood. The other individual then is now in a bad mood because they just got hit. Now that person's in a bad mood. So what they did in return is give back what you gave to them by stealing your keys. Okay? Now I got your keys. You can't go nowhere. But that escalates the situation. Because what happens when that person now needs to try to go home? Where's my keys? Right? So now they're searching for it. Well, apparently someone saw the person grab the keys. So now the person that hit the person went back to him to get their keys back. Long story short, it escalated into a huge situation. Cops had to come in, in, in the whole nine. Arrested them, it, all that, okay? That's what I mean by demonic karma. Demonic karma is a seed being placed before you, causing a reaction in you to create a situation to someone else and then cause a reaction through them, which then leads back to you, okay? It all is gonna lead back. So it's like a like a story in a book. You start at the beginning, you go throughout the process, whatever you did in the beginning is gonna reflect on what happens later. Okay? That's how that whole thing plays out. Demonic karma is the process of the beginning and the outcome at the ending. Everything else is gonna play within what happened in the beginning. Okay, now I know that makes crazy sense, but I'm gonna tell you. Good example, if I go out my whole entire life putting out negative energy to everyone else, in return, people are going to distance themselves away from me, and then my life is going to be formed in negativity. So now, anything that I go to do in life, I'm going to get negative back because all I'm doing is putting negative out, okay? So if I got a new job, and, and say I, it was a good blessing for me the whole nine, but then the whole entire time while I'm in the job... I'm being very negative and, and distant and I'm acting all crazy, whatever the case is. Next thing you know, I'm getting all these big issues happening within my job. People don't like me. People are causing trouble with me. I got to constantly have an argument with someone because of God knows what. Um, a bunch of situations start to play in, in, that, in that form. So what we have to understand is that in order to come out of situations like that, we have to put out positive energy. Now, you heard in the last few videos that I've been talking about positive energy. There's a reason behind me talking about that positive energy, because without it, your life is going to be in a standstill. Think about your life and every moment of your life as a blank page. I brought it up once before in one of my other videos. It's a blank page. You have the, pro the power to put whatever you want on that page. That's going to paint out your life. That's based off your decisions. Your decisions are all going to play a part in what you create on your canvas. And if you want a beautiful canvas, you have to do what? You have to do fine control. The same thing when dealing with life. So demonic karma is that really bad energy that you're placing out, which then creates an outcome in your life later on. And then now you're wondering, why is this happening to me? I'm a nice person. I'm a great this. I'm a great that. But I'm, going, I'm getting all this negative in my life for what reason and why? That's why. Because you place negativity out before negative, negativity came to you. Even in the face of darkness, put out positivity. Because if you put positivity out, you're going to get positivity in your life at the end of the day. You have the book in your hand. You're choosing to choose, you're choosing to walk what path you decide to walk. Now I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to, th I know I love God, so I always got to bring God into it because God is the one that brought this, this whole thing together. You know, I wouldn't have been able to do all this and even have the courage to do it if it wasn't for God. So I thank God for that, for making me in the man that I am today. But I want to tell you guys, the book of Daniel, Daniel always followed God and had faith in God. You see what I'm saying? 
And then with him having that faith in God, he went through a bunch of different situations of scenarios where he had to lean on God. From him being in the burning furnace and God sustaining him and keeping him alive within the midst of the fire. With him um, being with Nebuchadnezzar. And in that whole situation where he was trying to tell Nebuchadnezzar, look, you need to do this and you need to do that. And, and then going all the way over to him being put into the lion's den. First of all, I can't imagine a herd of lions being right in front of me and they're not doing nothing. <laughs> I can't imagine them just being like, oh, that's dinner right there in front of me. And then just decided to just take a nap. I can't see that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the fact that Daniel was able to trust in God in that, in that form is an example of what I mean by that positivity. When they told Daniel to eat the meat of the king, he didn't want to eat the meat because that's not what God told him to do. So then instead of him, and then what happened was that negativity from the other individuals came towards him. Instead of him putting negativity back, he did a positive thing and said, well, let's try something then. I will eat, I'll eat my stuff. Y'all eat y'all stuff and let's see the difference. So they were eating the meat. He was eating the veggies and the and the fruits and the whole nine that he always was doing all of that. And he was healthy. He, he was strong. His people was healthy and strong. Whereas the king's people felt like a little a little down. They, they had a loss of energy. They didn't know what to do with themselves, the whole nine. It all goes on to a bunch of different situations. A lot of details that come into it. This is the book right here that you're going to start off at, the book of Daniel. So you guys can go through the whole process of the story. Um, but it's not just about the story. It's the concept was being told with inside of the story. He had a faith that was unmoved. Okay? His faith was so strong and so unmoved that all he had was positivity to put out. So every time a negative situation was placed before him, he put positivity out to, dis to dis dismantle that negativity. Last In my last video, I brought up to all of you guys that in order for you to move in, in a calm and a beautiful and peaceful life, you have to do what? You have to put out good energy. So I was telling you guys about how individuals sometimes put their will on you. That's every single day. It doesn't matter how small the situation is or how big the situation is. People are putting their wills out on you, whether they, still, they know they're doing it or they don't know that they're doing it. Whether they understand what they're doing or they do or they don't understand what they're doing. They're doing that every single day. So Daniel had people constantly throwing negative situations at him. And instead of him falling falling short and, and faltering in that situation, he had enough faith in God to know that all he had to do was just keep on being positive. So when they told him, you can't pray anymore for such and such amount of time because that's the law, he decided to continue to pray. And what did happen in that? He had to get punished. And even though the king didn't want to punish him, he had to follow his own bylaws. That was the trickery of the individuals who were trying to put negativity out. Daniel kept his positivity even going into the lion's den. He prayed to God. He talked to God. And what ended up happening? The lions decided not to eat him. That's what I mean about positivity. Demonic karma is the opposite of that. Say if Daniel fed into that, to that turmoil that was going on. Oh, you can't pray. You, I can't pray? Who is you? I'm going to pray. I don't care what you say. I'm praying. That's period. And y'all ain't going to do nothing about it. Say if that was the case. Now the king don't like you. Oh. Oh, it's like that? All right. Arrest him. Now, now you get beat up. The guards don't care. They might try to take an arm and limb just to, just, to, just to make an example out of you. The whole nine. And then throw you in a lion's den. And now you got all that negativity in the lines that, oh, yo, I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to get at you. This and a third. You spaz and you going off. What ends up happening? You get back what you gave. Next thing you know, the lions is rowdy. Ah, they ready to eat. And they start eating. So going back to the situation I told you guys about, about that happened with me and my job. The first individual put out negativity. The second individual put negativity back out by, doing, by taking the keys. If he had just left the keys, went off on his merry way, 
came into the store, told everybody in the store, the only person that would have got a reprimanding was the person that did the wrong. But no, he decided to be negative back. I'm going to take these. You ain't getting these back. What Then tend to what? To him being chased down by an individual he ain't need to be chased down by. And it all led to what? The ending, both of them getting cuffed. See what I'm saying? So demonic karma is that misfortune that comes from your decisions. What you decided to do. And sometimes it could be small. Sometimes it could be big. And all depending upon how you move depends on whether that is the, whether the situation is going to work in your favor or it's not. You know what I'm saying? So in order for you to survive and, and be able to go against these things, you have to be able to put out positivity. See, we are not having a battle. We're not wrestling with flesh and blood. We're wrestling with demonic entities and spirits that surround us. So even though you think that I just woke up this morning, got myself together, walked outside, got on the bus, got to work, and made whatever decisions I made at work in order to make work go through smoothly the whole nine, you don't understand the war that's going on in the background. Your angels, the angels are, are battling against things every single day just to protect you. The same way that the army protects the state. So in order for us to have peace in this state, the army takes on the big jobs on the outside. The same thing that God's angels do. The same thing that God do every single day. He's taking the whole, they having a war right around you. Angels protecting you so that you can move throughout your peace. But also the contingent upon you. Now I'm going to bring some, um, an anime up because I like anime. This is Naruto. Simple anime everybody know about. Sasuke, when um, he first got hit with the curse mark that was on his neck or whatever the case was, he, he didn't know how to control it. And he was in the tuning exams. He fought the first person. It gave him a hard time, but he ended up winning. Kakashi ended up putting a seal on him, which was his sensei. It was the person training him or teaching him. He put a seal on the curse mark. And Sasuke was like, yeah, I feel better, blah, blah, blah. And then he said to Sasuke, he said, now this ceiling is different. He said, that curse mark is not going to bother you no more. But the, the ceiling is as powerful as your will is. If your will falters, the seal breaks. And if the seal breaks, if you give up and you fully give up and, and, and you're in full negativity mode and all that, the seal is going to break and that, and that curse mark is going to activate tenfold than what it was before. So that ceiling is based off of your willpower, how much will you have and how much you believe in yourself. That's what we're doing every single day. We're walking throughout our days with negativity or positivity. Okay? Our life is going to succeed and go higher and grow depending upon our willpower. If I'm at a mediocre job, but I want success... I'm not getting success by constantly complaining about how I'm in this mediocre job and all I'm doing is paying my bills. I can't do nothing with that. If you want something good in your life, you have to seek out for it. See what I'm saying? It's not enough to just have faith. God says that you have to have faith and you have to commit your works. In order, to, in, in order for your faith to work, you have to put in some. That's to help you grow and help you become better. Same process. If I'm an entrepreneur, I, I'm, I'm technically an entrepreneur. I work a job, but I'm doing this full. I want to do this full time. So my business is what I want to build into an entrepreneurship. And in order to have that, I have to have an unmoving faith. I have to first believe in myself and believe in my craft. Then after that, I have to put in the works to make it happen. So that when I, when I get to my final end and I'm finally sitting in that luxury chair and I'm looking back and I got money for days and I don't got to worry about bills, I can sit back and say, I fought for that. I did that. I did that. Hard work, tears, all that. Sweating, everything. I, and I will have no regrets. You have no regrets. See what I'm saying? But it's all based on your willpower. Demonic karma is based off your willpower. Karma is based off your willpower. What you put in is what you get back. So if you feel like you got a lot of negativity in your life, 
It's because you're putting a lot of negativity out. You got to be more positive. You got to believe in yourself. You got to have faith in yourself. You got to seek for higher. Whatever dreams you got, you got to believe in it and fight for it. You know what I'm saying? Those are the different things that come with it. Demonic karma is the simple factor of whether you decide to fight for yourself or you don't. Come on. If somebody comes up to you and, they, and, 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 and they're trying to fight you, you don't want to hurt them back. Are you still going to just take the punches? You can just let them beat you up? No. You're going to try and block and dodge. And you're going to move. And you're going to try and get away. The whole nine. It's the same thing. So if you got a lot of negativity coming your way, are you just going to take the punches? Or are you going to start... Are you going to put out something positive in order to dismantle that? People have a hard time when you're being positive more than when you're putting negative back. See, they, they, can, they, can, they can understand if, like, if I cussed you out, they can understand if you cussed them out back. That makes a lot of sense. They, they, they believe in that. Oh, oh okay, you go on that energy? Keep that energy. Keep that energy. That's, that's what they're going to come, out at you, come at you with. But they, they lose their mind. They can't fathom to understand if you came with positivity. Forget you, blank, 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 this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. And then you said, well, thank you. You have a blessed day, too. They can't understand that. They're paused, like, wait, what? What you just said to me? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I, I went through that um, at my job. Um, the person didn't put negativity out on me or nothing like that. He just came up to the register and he said hi. And I said, hello, how you doing? He said, oh, I'm good, I'm good. So I said, oh, okay, that's good. I, I said, um, he said, what about you? I said, I'm always blessed. He said, oh, wow, I like that. That's that's good. I said, nah, thank you, man, I appreciate it. And he said, yeah, anytime. He said, um, here, I wanted to give you this right here. Um, It'll make it easier, you know, for the transaction. I said, oh, thank you, I appreciate you. He paused. He said, hmm? Excuse me, like, what did you say to me? I said, I appreciate you. He said, "You did you say you appreciate me? <laughs> he was like, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say that to me? I said, yeah, I said that. I said that. I appreciate you. He was like, oh, wow. Um, he started smiling. He, he's all happy and junk. He was like, I appreciate you appreciating me. <laughs> he didn't know what to do. He was like, oh, shoot. And it's sad to say that, but it's the truth. I gave him a positive outlook in life. And by doing that, I put I put life into his in his world. And now when he goes to goes wherever he's going, he's gonna start putting positivity out. If all of us is being positive and we're finding life in things, then all that's gonna happen is we're gonna grow beautiful plants, beautiful flowers. Ain't no tree that we ain't gonna be able to touch. You know what I'm saying? We'll be able to put the breath that God gave us in, in, and put the life into it in any breath from any person around us. Because we put out positivity. We put good energy. It takes one person of faith to change the room. One person. You know what I'm saying? But if you put negativity out into the world, all you're doing is, in, all you're doing is bringing death everywhere you walk. And they ain't worth it. So beautiful people, that's pretty much it. Um, I thank you all for watching the video. I like I said, it's a short, shorter video than normal, but that's what's known as demonic karma. And in order to defeat demonic karma, you have to put positivity out. In order to defeat the problems in your life and move every mountain, you have to find value in yourself and value in the decisions that you make. God is with every last one of us. And in order for him to do the things that we want him to do and the things that he wants to do for us, we have to open the door. So open the door. Stop being afraid. Put good energy out and good energy comes back to you. All right, beautiful people. Again, I thank you so much for checking out my video. Guys, I need y'all support. Check out my Patreon. That's where you're going to get a lot of different updates. Um, you're probably going to get the video of people who, who subscribe to my Patreon. It is a paying site, but I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know. Um, you can subscribe to my Patreon 
It doesn't matter what amount that you put on it. Um, if you put $5, I thank you so much for that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm asking for these things because I have to. I want to make this into a full-time job. And in order to do that, I have to build funds. So guys, if you guys could help me, it's going to help with my process of my, my video making. It's going to help me with the, the way that my videos look, the location, all that. I just need you guys to help support me. So definitely check out my, my Patreon. On top of that, and my Patreon is going to have like a lot of other featured things as well. You probably you only see the videos that I put out, but you get to see my inside life. Things that I do on a daily, I might put a put something up on there. Um, you know, I'll put the videos up earlier in the Patreon than I would on YouTube. So you might see that earlier in that time. So it's a lot of beautiful things and a lot of um that you can get from the Patreon as you guys being my fans and stuff like that. So please check it out. And if you like it, please subscribe. I would truly appreciate you if you subscribe. Um, other than that, like this video, subscribe this video. Um, and most importantly, hit that notification bell and please comment because this is a discussion video. I want to hear your input. My comment bar is open. It's active whether I got the video up or not. I'm not, I'm not walking away from the comment bar. I'm commenting on everything. I'm seeing everyone's comments. So please talk to me. The more you talk to me, the, the better that this gets and the more this will flow and, and, and so on and so forth. I want to have these deep discussions with you guys. Tell me how you feel. And I'm going to talk to you guys back and forth through those discussions in the comments. So please comment. Um, other than that, check out my Instagram page, moonvargus48. That's where you're going to get a lot of the updates and the promos of what the next video is going to be popping up on and so on and so forth, as well as seeing like things that I do on a daily basis. Like I put up posts all the time with comments and, um, and quotes and all that different type of stuff. So check me out. Um, other than that, check out my TikTok. You want to see, you want to see me really get loose? You want to see me act a fool and do all that? Go to my TikTok. Definitely check out my TikTok. That's on uh, Taekwon Chardon. Uh, 15, I think, or 25, one of those. But I'm going to have it right here, so you're going to see it anyways. But, yeah, check that out. Um, Yeah, I got nothing but stuff going on. And, you know, if there's anything that you guys want me to discuss, talk about, or anything, leave it in the comment section or hit me on my DMs and Instagram, and I'll cover it. Just let me know what it is that you want me to cover. But, again, thank you so guys for coming in. Thank you so much for checking out my videos. Listen, I love all of you guys for all of the love that I'm getting on my videos. On top of that, my first video finally hit 100 views. I was happy about that, and I'm going to be happy when all my other videos go up to them in the 50s, the 40s, the 20s, the 30s, the whole nine. Like, I can't wait for all of them to be 100 plus. So please check me out. Um, you guys are truly important. And I love all of you guys, and I thank you so much. So please check out Guerrilla Tactics, the only place where you get to commit guerrilla warfare to make change. And I'm going to put more bangers out there as much as possible as well, just so I can feed you guys this information, to have a good time with you guys, and, and just, just continue to grow in life. So I thank you all. God bless you, and have a blessed and wonderful night. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life just moves on. Alright. Yeah. Three.